Yeah. He's gonna pull out the cafe. <laughs> 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 Surprise, cafe is invisible. I have to thank all of you for remembering these simple and eight bit Zelda tunes in this age of high end game machines. So, for the 25th anniversary. Oh. 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 <laughs> Starting today, we will cut out The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will be available as the first live new Game Boy Color Pixel console lineup. Everybody download it! <laughs> so you'll be able to download it today. It will be available around the world by day's end. Ooh. Now, this is a game that we created perhaps with the most unbridled creativity of any game in the series. And I think it's great for people who are playing Zelda for the first time in this room that they can learn the basics of Zelda gameplay. And then starting next weekend, yes, next weekend, the Legend of Zelda 3D will launch for Nintendo 3DS. Aww. Aww. Well, at least we know that they... <laughs> At least it's nothing that important right now. It's just what games are releasing, like, that we know about, and stuff. The graphics have been revamped, and it feels great. And there's a new sense of realism when you're riding your horse through the sweeping scenery of Hyrule. For those of you who are playing it for the first time, we've included hit movies to help you along the way. And for those of you who have played the game in the past, we have included the mirror Legend of Zelda Master Yoshi. And we've also added this challenge. Next up, we have, ending in September, Nintendo DSi. Four player cooperative Legend of Zelda Hyper Swords. We're going to make available to all of you as a free download. I did? Done. Oh, sorry, fun dial. This will be uh, this holiday season for a week. Alright. Oh, for a week. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Now the game is going to use Wii Motion Plus to swing your sword, and it's also going to help make a few different items like the bow and arrow simpler. And so, in honor of this, I'm going to create a special gold Wii Remote that will also be available. Shiny. Late there. <laughs> Perhaps you've noticed, but I feel like my arms got a little stronger. It's great exercise. <laughs> now, from a volume standpoint, the game is packed full of content, and I think that we're going to be able to deliver to you the most satisfying Zelda experience of any game in the series. And then of course, because these are games, they have many elements that I think you need to play yourself to understand. 
So I hope you'll all play both The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D and Skyward Sword on the show floor this week. Please play it. <laughs> We're begging you. Um, we also have an orchestra here today. So, in honor of the 25th anniversary, we'd like to announce that we're going to be holding the Legend of Zelda 25th anniversary symphony concerts in each region around the world. So, uh, let's give a big round of applause for our orchestra today. We've done a fantastic job. So, we'll be holding these concerts uh, in each region. They'll be happening in the fall, and you can look forward to more announcements from uh, Japan, the US, and Europe about the specific dates. Um, additionally, we're preparing two music CDs. Uh, the first is the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D official soundtrack. And this is going to be made available as a gift to those who are among the first to register the game with Club Nintendo. The other CD is going to be based on the Legend of Zelda 25th Anniversary Symphony Concerts. And will be used in conjunction with oh, the release of Sky Sword. So you can look forward to that as well. We're also planning a number of other events and activities to celebrate the 25th anniversary beyond these. So you can look forward to more announcements <coughs> later this year. So, for the last 25 years, the Legend of Zelda series has been supported by an incredibly large development team. Just internally within Nintendo, over 200 people have worked directly on the series. And I have been truly honored to be able to work with such talented people. And uh, we have several of them here today, so I would like to invite them on stage as well. First is Takashi Tezuka. <laughs> Uh, I've worked with Takashi Tezuka on the Super Mario and Zelda series. Uh, next is Yoshiaki Koizumi, who I worked with on Super Mario 64, uh, Ocarina of Time, and more recently on Super Mario Galaxy series. And I think perhaps you all know Eiji Aonuma, who is the producer of the Legend of Zelda series. <laughs> Going a little slow right now. <laughs> so all of you who have been playing and supporting the series, we would like to thank to end this section of our presentation. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please okay. welcome Nintendo's global president, Satoru Iwata. Yeah. Where is he going to drop in from the ceiling from a jetpack? When we launched Nintendo DSRV over the last several years, we stated a goal of expanding the gaming population. And today, we have seen changes in who play, where we play, and most important. He emphasized the wrong word. He emphasized the we, not the where. The boundary that once divided players by age group or personality or even by gender are starting to be erased. But 
Vector boundary still exists in how game systems are defined. <coughs> Some hardware is seen as appropriate for only the most active passionate players. Others, like we, they say, seem to attract a large number of more casual gamers. As an industry, what we haven't achieved yet is a game platform that is equally satisfying for all players. He's building up to yeah. something. This yeah. is exactly what we intend to create with our new home class. Yeah. How might that happen? I will suggest two words. Deeper and wider. <laughs> <laughs> Deeper game experience is <laughs> what even the most passionate gamer has realized before. And it will offer wider view to gamers, <coughs> wider even than for we. 